Hey guys, Brandon Burbank here, and I um, have an awesome, exciting episode of Come Back to Success to give you guys more insight and in direction for your me mental health and your overall well-being. Today's topic video that we're going to be discussing is how to handle depression. So that's a really hard um, experience that many people would struggle with in this world, including myself at times. And since I'm actually in this little depression of a funk right now, I actually wanted to really emphasize the importance of making quality decisions in order to build your success and momentum for success in your life. So with that being said, uh, today's video topic is how to handle depression. And um, as I experienced another wave of depression, I just felt called to talk about it with, with you guys about, so in order to help me in my own growth, as well as uh, helping you to see that you can overcome your depression with the right steps and the right things that are helping you fostering growth and fostering healing in your life. So with that being said, some I'm going to discuss some of the remedies for, for mental health with, uh, with for those of you that are struggling right now with depression. And these are just some things that have worked for me. They might work for you and they might not work for you. So that so just recognize that hopefully this is something that could be a benefit for you in your life and that it can make, make a difference so that you can become a better person and overall healthier. So, okay, here we go. Exercise. So exercise is a big one because of the fact that you get to like cleanse your endorphins and, and work on something that's really active in your mental physical health. And so there's like, I don't know the, the, the chemistry and the science behind it, but I just know that exercise for me, when I go into a, a workout and do like a run, for example, or even a walk, a walk around uh, Lake Patton where I live here, that is helpful for me to, to grow and to find wellness. And so my encouragement to you is if you're if you're exercising and regularly and staying fit, maybe when you're if you're in an, if you're not exercising and you're in a depression, maybe try going for a walk outside today or even going for a jog and seeing how that does for you or even going to the gym and seeing what seeing what works for you in your own physical well-being. Another idea that comes to mind and this is just to, don't overuse this, it's called napping, taking a nap. And so Resting your head for a little for maybe 30 minutes up to a 30 minutes to an hour is kind of pushing it But 30 minutes is probably ideal because it gives it lets your body just just unwind and decompress from stress And then you can get back to doing something that's more productive and, and more proactive with your everyday um, goals and dreams Healthy food that's another one that's just kind of come can, can have so much benefits for for your physical health and, and your overall mental health as well because when you are in, when you're intaking a lot of positive, healthy foods, then you're able to be able to be at your best and not have, not being in, in control of your life and being able to have a better understanding of how you can overcome your depression. Talking about it with someone you trust, that's a big one, because when you talk about some, when you talk about your challenges upfront and honestly with the, another person, you're at least able to start thinking about how to get out of the depression and asking yourself why why is the, why do i feel this way how 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 can i get out of this state of mind that might be clouding my brain and being able to be more active and proactive in order to overcome this depression and with with support from the right person in your life can definitely have a dramatic effect on your on your life and help you grow and find transparency for your life sake so keep your head up and do something that you enjoy for an activity and stay productive and stay proactive and stay persistent in knowing that you can do this and that when when if you are in a depression right now I hope that some of these ideas and tool, tools can help you utilize that to the best of your ability so that you can make a big difference in, the, in this world today because you are needed and you are loved and you are valued so take care and stay strong and God bless thanks